what is up everybody so uh, I received some Necrons in the mail off of eBay this is something I definitely wanted to check out because back in the day we didn't have that you know we didn't have that resource everything that you know you got for Warhammer had to come from Games Workshop uh, it was a much tighter market so I did run into some issues first of all i wanted some of the older necrons because uh you know they have these weapons that uh they have hold on. they have these plastic see-through rods and they're just kind of like the old school necrons so i wanted some of those for the sake of having some of the old models so i found these now obviously somebody just kind of like spray painted these silver right uh, painted the gun, right? And painted the eyes red. So there's no depth. There's no shadowing. There, there's nothing on these. They're just, they already come painted silver. Uh, my biggest gripe with this was that I don't like the, uh, I don't like the copper guns on them. I just, I don't dig that as a color for them. And that's just me personally, right? I'm also trying to paint these, uh, models up into their dynasties which means that some of them like they have a rule called like the the golden skin or something like that it lets them get like a special save and it lets them move faster <clears throat> and that's described as them having like a golden hue to their skin and phasing in and out of reality whatever it is so i wanted to like you know pay some homage to that so i had to try to figure out a way to kind of like save these right um now, I had a few ideas. I didn't know how they would work out, so I figured I would record. Um, so the idea was to find an easy way to kind of save these models. Um, they're, they're just not up to my standards. Um, you guys will see what I did. This is just what I'm working on. Uh, and the idea is to keep this simple. Like, because there's 40 of these guys. <laughs> there's 40 of these guys that I have to go through um, you know, in paint. So I, one of the big things right off rip, I honestly think if you use a little bit of ink, uh, and you just like inking does not really take that much skill. You brush the stuff on, um, and it can make a huge difference because the ink will go into all the little cracks and it will kind of shade them. So you get a little bit of depth. So I was like, why don't I just start like inking and washing them? So I'll show you guys some of the things that I've come up with. So this is, the first coat of ink. Let's just kind of gives them a little bit of depth, right? Very simple thing to do. Only takes a couple of seconds, right? Um, and then we have models that I've inked multiple times. So they start looking much different. I think they look better. And this is relatively very easy to do. This is not hard to do. Anybody can do this. It only takes a couple of seconds. I haven't even actually started painting on these models. Now this gun kind of looks messed up because I was trying to figure out, like I said, what I could do um, to kind of save these guns. Like I said, I just don't like that copper color on them. I don't know about doing this. It might take me a little bit of time to make all the guns like this to try to you know, cover up that old paint. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to want to do that 40 times, right? But these guys kind of give me like a skeleton of undead horde vibe. And I kind of dig that. They do get to come back to life uh, after they get destroyed in the game. So that's kind of cool. I do think this is a big improvement over old silver here where it's just like, bah, right? And this literally only took a couple more seconds to do um, as far as the inking goes. So I am kind of getting my painting boots back on and I'm gonna be seeing what I can do to actually finish some of these models up. I have a ton of them to paint, so it's gonna give me something to do, um, you know, between some of my jobs here. So whenever I get time, I'll get in here. Uh, so this is what I've done so far though. And like I said, these are just models that I've gotten from eBay, but this is cool because I'm getting these at a huge discount. Uh, they're already assembled. They're assembled. Well, you know, I will say that 
The only issue I had was these, some of these are on a smaller base. Um, and the guy on eBay that I left a review on to warn people uh, about the base, he did say that these older, older soldiers came on these smaller bases. But the problem with that is, is these guys, these immortals, I know they never came on a small, tiny little base like that. So I did write... I did write in my review that half of the models that I got came on the wrong size base. And I think that's me being generous about it. I am going to warn people about it. But still, you know, I might have to take some of the bases off of these and rebase them, which is kind of a pain. But after you've painted something and put your heart and soul into it and taken the time to do it, you know, if that's really what's going to make them playable and they're going to look good on the table, you're going to do it. Um... I'm going to do it if I have to. I've already been talking to my little bro about, you know, obviously melting the glue bonds on their feet. And, you know, it's obviously something I'm going to try to do if I have to. We'll just leave it at that. So, but for now, I'm at least just trying to save, you know, their paint jobs. And I'm kind of using this as a way to kind of get back into painting because it's been so long. So I haven't actually painted yet. I haven't actually picked up. Well, I've picked up a brush, but I haven't actually painted. I've just been inking, and I just kind of wanted to showcase how big of a difference inking can be. So if you're into this hobby, if you're into any sort of modeling, and you don't fancy yourself a wonderful painter, right? Anybody can spray paint a model like this with silver, right? And, you know, it'll show... But then if you just put a little bit of love into them with some ink, some very easy stuff to do, there's no technique here. You are literally just taking, uh, my 12 year old actually helped me with these. My 12 year old inked half of them and I can't tell which ones I've inked and I can't tell which ones he's inked. So uh, there's always fun little things like that that you can learn that can really make a big difference on how your models look. Like I said, these guys, they've just been inked just once, right? But it does instantly give them some depth, you know, especially when comparing to old silver here. It makes a huge difference on the tabletop. They just have more of a presence. They, it just feels better when you're kicking ass. I don't know. There's just this unwritten nerd rule where if your models are painted up, you're going to roll better. They're going to do better. They're going to shoot better. Don't ask me why. So here's some other examples. Um, this is this guy I kind of dig. He's got some of the green going and some of that gold, that gold skin. And of course, I have done something with his gun. All right, th this was just two different ways of inking their guns. Trying to see what I can do with it. Trying to hide most of that copper. Right? Here's another one that still has the copper, but the copper at least has some ink on it, so it has some depth. So just, just inking alone will make a difference, because if you just compare this gun to this guy's gun, right, this gun already has way more detail and depth in it, just from some of that ink settling in those cracks. Like, that already looks a lot better. I don't know how much this is all going to show up on my camera. This is actually really the first time I've used this camera mode to record anything for you guys. So hopefully this turns out all right. So you guys just get an idea of what I've been doing here. I'll keep you posted. I have a lot of cool stuff to paint. There's going to be tanks. Um, and I'm actually, like I said, going to be trying to work on my painting technique. It's been 10 years. It's, it's easily been 10 years since I've been able to do anything in this hobby at all. Um, so yeah, so now that like my kids have shown interest in it, uh, and my little bro wanted to run some battles as well, he got an army, I got an army, so yeah, good stuff to come, and let me know what you guys think, let me know what you guys think, uh, we could talk about color schemes, we could talk about whatever, so this is uncharted territory. This is a mobile game. I will remind you of that. It's one of the old school mobile games where you actually had to, well, take your mobile game to wherever you were going to play it. I mean, by that definition, though, there's a lot of mobile games, including Magic the Gathering. 
Eh, we can debate that too. But yeah, I just wanted to put something out. You guys have a good day. Later.